What is up everyone, Nord says here, welcome to my channel. The preview shard has been patched, quite a big patch over uh, I think one gigabyte for me and there are no patch notes, I will cover that in my next video today. But I, I was snooping around a little bit and I found a new very very sweet and nice set uh, for DPS classes. So I'm going to showcase you that and also uh, what you see on a thumbnail, I got a new quest for the new campaign or the i called it mod 22 but as you can see i will show you right now the worm cultists and it will give me echoes of prophecy currency now uh, i cannot enter it this is a never dead graveyard as you can see here let's check out that nice set that we have so here it is it's called the mogorgon's rat now if you look at the tooltip this is hearts twine item level 1000 on mythic it gives five strength trickle strike and forte and we have Sinuous Cord, plus 5 Constitution, Combat Advantage, and 750 Forte. 900 Combined Ratings, which is uh, quite weird because my Twinkle of the Star is 980. So it's probably going to be higher than that. Because when we go to the Artifacts, it's under Wicked Artifacts, here it is. And the Demogorgon is rich again, item level 1000, so boom, straight up 1000 item level, that's quite a lot actually. It, it is a lot. I don't know. I don't know if it's right. Everything here is subject to a change. It's a preview shard, okay? We got 3,000 maximum hit points, 750 power, 750 forte, and 800 combined rating. Use you summon four six tentacles from the abyss around the target enemy location over the next six seconds, each dealing 8,000 something something damage. In addition, any force struck by a tentacle become rotting for the next six seconds. Rotting enemies takes 3% more damage and have their healing. Incoming healing reduced by 5% per stack. Rotting stacks up to 6 times. So that's pretty good actually. Now, uh, about the set itself. On each critical hit from your at will encounter or daily power, gain a stack of Demogorgon's Fury for 10 seconds. Each stack increases your outgoing damage by 1%, stack up to 5 times. So we can have constant 5 times, 5 not constant, but if we whack enough enemies, and we will, uh, lightning will probably count into that. <laughs> We're going to have 5% more damage. And if you land the 5 critical attacks in a row, do an additional hit for 150 magnitude damage. So that's like a um, Lost Mount Vengeance or something like that. I think they're going to give us more more uh, artifacts also. I, I, I think that they actually leaked this, but I don't, I'm not really sure. I think they leaked this. That's only my opinion, okay? Uh, aside that, I'm going to show you that they actually fixed... The bypass gold ring now is giving not anymore. Uh, I don't know, 15,000 ratings. It is down to normal 758 accuracy and plus 2,272 combat advantage. So um, don't buy those rings. They're, they're going to be patched. Also, all other rings are in effect. Uh, gold gold plated ring. Don't buy them for stupid amount of money. It's it has been remade. Uh, I, I can show you the area a little bit. So when we go when we go over we can go over here you see it says merchants landing and you can't see it from here when I was doing the demo demo tool recording I went all the way inside there's a bones of the dragon a gigantic statues uh, fallen fallen warriors and stuff like that and it looks really really cool when you go inside uh, and look with the demo tool so that's it that's it for this video just a sneak peek of the new content and I don't know how I got this quest you can see it's Echoes of Prophecy Currency. Remove the cult cell. Um, unfortunately, I cannot go inside. Uh, they're asking me to find some, ca some cave. And the cave, it, cave, it le leaves me over here. And when you go inside, there are three doors. And you can actually enter them. Uh, when you probably, I'm assuming, enter and kill them. So, shout out to my channel members. Thank you for watching. And I will update you on more soon. Northside is out.